Hi y'all, Karma here from the new spooky background for October. Do you like it? <laughs> I hope you're having a great day. If you're new to my channel, I hope you enjoy our time together and will consider subscribing by the end. And if you're one of my normal viewers or subscribers, welcome back. Warm, cozy hugs from me to you, especially during this COVID time when we don't get to spend as much time with people as we want to. So today we're going to be opening the chakra box. Yay! And this is, do you know which symbol that is? Can you guess? Let's see if you're right. So the chakra box is a monthly box. There are 10 of them total. Starts with the earth star chakra and then each month works up the chakras and gives you all different kinds of things. It's probably one of the best chakra boxes I've ever found and her products are absolutely amazing. Her oils, you'll see if you haven't watched me open this before, I am just so sold on this box for what it offers and what it does for you. So the chakra box is $39 a month if you do monthly, and it has 9 to 12 vegan products in it every single month to help you to work with the chakra that you're working on. So as we open the box, maybe, see, as we open the box, whoa, okay. So you've got on the top, you've got your oops, card, there's your sticker, there's some other cards falling out, and then all of your products are down here in the stuff well packed. So we'll talk about them as we pull them out. So first we have the card here, it shows all the items that are in the box, and then on the back it has the descriptions of all of the items that we'll read as we pull them out. Then each month you get a sticker, and there's the sticker for this month. Have you guessed which, which chakra we're doing this month yet? It's solar, solar plexus. So here we have a card that gives you information on the chakra itself and gives you different things that you can do. Then on the back, it always has a yoga pose for the month and usually has yoga pose and breathing with it as well. So it's got lots of activities for you to do along with the items that are in the box. So let's start pulling out. Okay, first thing we have here is a pendulum. I'm not quite sure what the stone is. What do you think? It's not got quite enough black to be like a mahogany jasper. I, I don't know. What do you think? Let me see if I can get it really close, see if you can get a good view of it. What stone do you think that is? Hmm. Well, let's see. Number four. Oh, it says assorted. So it's not going to tell me the stone. So, come on, my knowledgeable viewers, help me. What do you think that stone is? I'm not quite sure. I may have to take a picture and send it to her and ask her what it is so that I know for sure, unless some of you comment below and let me know what it is. But it says, Gemstone Crystal Pendulum. This will be beneficial to you in all areas of your life when you have a question that you are seeking to an answer to. Try using the pendulum to assist you in your choices if you are at all questioning them. You may be surprised at what you find. For additional information is included in your solar plexus chakra information link below. And at the bottom, down the very bottom of the card, they have a link at the bottom. They used to send you an email each month, but now they just have the link at the bottom. So you would go to that link and it will have all, usually it has like mantras, guided meditations, yoga, all different kinds of things for you. So let's see here. Oh, it looks like some incense cones. Quite a few of them. Okay. Let's see what they smell like. Hmm. 
can't tell. They smell good. I can't tell what that is though. It almost smells like a jasmine-y, but I just had jasmine in my last box, so that could be why. So let's see here, number 10. Oh, sweet grass. Nice. I um, remember just used sweet grass in my ritual for the first time. I'd never used sweet grass before. So nice to have a different method to use sweet grass. Sweet grass incense cones. Incense has been used in rituals and meditation for centuries. Sweet grass has been used historically to purify space, attract positive energy, to bless a home, deepen meditation, and in ritual use. To per burn, place in the inset on your incense holder, then light the tip of the cone and blow out the flame if necessary. So let's see if I can find the incense burner since it talked about that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's got a little wood incense burner. That's really cute. I like that a lot. And it's nice for, again, a travel set or something because, and it looks like, oh, that's cool. So look at the little dots around the outside. They're actually different sizes, which is nice for stick incense because I've noticed that sometimes they're thicker or thinner and it doesn't always fit. So it's got, it looks like two different sizes, two big ones and two small ones. Handmade wooden incense burner. Use this beautiful incense holder to burn your sweetgrass incense cones to purify your space and deepen your meditation practice. Very nice. Okay. Now we have our tea for the month and her teas are amazing. So that's what the chakra tea looks like for solar. And she always has the sticker on it so you can see which one. There's the nice little thing in the back so you can see. I mean, her teas are just beautiful. It says this one's um, calendula, dandelion, cinnamon bark, black peppercorn, cardamom, ginger root, rubios, and star anise. I'm going to love this tea. I'm not going to open it yet, but... <laughs> I'm going to love this tea. Just knowing what's in it, I'm going to love this tea. Yay. I love getting teas that I know I'm going to like. So let's see here. Number five, solar plexus chakra balancing tea. Enjoy this organic tea as desired. That's all it says on there. On here, tells you how to steep it. And it says that it makes... 10 to 20 cups, depending on how much you put in there and how strong you like your teas. Beautiful. And then my favorite, her oils. Oh my gosh, her oils are so good, y'all. So there's the oil for this month. And you can see the stones in the bottom. She usually has herbs and stones. Yeah, I can see all about five or six stones in the bottom there. Can you see those? Helps if I have it in the camera for you, right? But you can kind of see the stones down in the bottom there. Beautiful. Okay. Again, not one of my favorite smells. Smells more kind of citrusy. And you know, citrusy isn't my favorite. But oils, teas, stones... They don't have to look pretty in order for their properties to work well. That's nice. I smell some spearmint in there. Some, yeah. And that's kind of nice. That mint actually comes out and overpowers the, um, the kind of citrusy smell I was feel, smelling. Um, the spearmint really kind of comes out in that. So I think I'll enjoy that. So let's see what it says about it. Um, high Vibe Solar Plexus Chakra Balancing Aroma Oil. Follow the instructions on the ingredient use card and enjoy throughout your day as desired. So she has the little card on this one. Solar Plexus Chakra. Um, to balance your, your solar plexus chakra, shake well and roll on pulse points or two inches above the navel, which is where your solar is. Breathe deeply and enjoy. Ingredients are jojoba, argan oil, Sweet essential oils of sweet orange, 
grapefruit, lemon, see there's all those uh, citrusy I smelled, but there's the spearmint, ginger, cardamom, juniper, mandarin, um, rock rose, and then the organic flower essences are loofah buttercup, dandelion, garlic, rose of Sharon. The sacred geo essence she used was the noctahedragon. And then the gem essences are pearl, moonstone, with gemstones of carnelian, perdot, um, tiger's eye, and it's organic and therapeutic. And then the little saying on it is, I trust my intuition to guide me in this life of abundance. I realize my self-imposed limitations. I release judgment of myself and others. I am worthy and manifest with ease and grace. I set boundaries with ease as an act of self-care and self-respect. I love and accept myself. I am strong and courageous. I am authentic and trust my intuition. I appreciate my strengths and honor my power. I am conscious of my free will and choose healthy relationships. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Then we have our little goodie bag here. It has all our stones and stuff in it. So we'll pull them out one at a time. Okay, so first we have here a tiger's eye tumbled stone. It's a beautiful piece. Let's see if I can get the lights to show better so that you can see some of the pretty variations. My lights are kind of shining too bright on stuff right now. I think I got it okay though so that you could see it. And it says... Tiger's eye, warm and radiant, synthesizing the frequencies of sun and earth, bringing stability and awareness while integrating the spiritual with the physical realms. The gold rays of tiger's eye bring success, enthusiasm, happiness, and power. Beautiful. And we have this. Not quite sure whether it's going to be a, could be quite a few things. Pretty though, kind of milky, kind of lemony, almost a lemony yellow. So, let's see what this one is. Lemon topaz. I don't have a lemon topaz. That's exciting. It's a stone of creativity and intention, generating abundance within the context of what's inappropriate for one's highest path. A stone of good fortune brings prosperity and abundance by clearing blockages that inhibit the vibrations of one's intention. Nice. That's going to be fun to work with. I've never worked with that before. I've never had a lemon topaz. Then we have a little teeny cutest little pyramid. Look how cute that is. Tiger's eye. Beautiful coloring on it. Beautiful coloration. So small it's hard for it. You to see that side kind of really showed though. Look how pretty. So little teeny teeny pyramid to be able to put on your solar plexus. Remember pyramids take a lot of the energy because they have a wide base so they bring them all in and then they focus them upward. So let's see what it has to say. Um, tiger's eye pyramid. Pyramids amplify and then tightly focus energy through the apex. A crystal pyramid can be used to release blocked energy from the chakra. Tiger's eye is warm and radiant, synthesizing the frequencies of sun and earth, bringing stability and awareness while integrating the spiritual with the physical realms. The gold rays of tiger's eye bring success, enthusiasm, happiness, and power. And then we have a little teeny... Again, not quite sure what it is. Could be a lot of things. Let's see if I can get a good shot for you. Fairly small. There's a nice energy to it though. Has a nice point on it. Let's see what it is. Citrine, citrine point. Carrying the power of the sun. It is warm and comforting, energizing and life-giving. 
Keep in your purse or your wallet to promote financial wealth. Allow the energy of citrine to invite wealth and financial abundance into your life. I don't think anybody would reject additional abundance and wealth in your life. And remember, it doesn't always have to be money. Then we have a nice little worry stone here. Really pretty. So it's got the little cut out there for you to rub with your finger. Like this. Feels really good. I could use this a lot. I'm a worrier. Are you a worrier? Let's see what it says. Let's see what it is too. Number two. Onyx. I don't think I've ever seen white onyx. Have you ever seen onyx? Why like that? That's kind of cool. Simply rub your onyx between your fingers to dissipate worry. Onyx provides the alignment to connect to a higher power of guidance and assist one in manifestation. Onyx is reputed to hold physical memories of the wearer within its structure and should be cleared often. Use onyx to banish grief and release pain from physical or emotional wounds and to draw in happiness and good fortune. To clear onyx, smudge and place on selenite in a light in the light of a full moon. So again, that might be something good for me to use during my full moon ritual with my shadow work. And it looks like the last thing that we have, these boxes are always so full, it's a beautiful little bracelet. Usually there is some type of a jewelry for you to wear. Really pretty. Again, enough of a looseness so that it's not too tight on me, which I really like. Well, that feels really good. I wonder what this is. Huh. I don't dare guess. Number seven. Is it citrine again? Nope. Yellow Aventurine. I think I only have green Aventurine right now, so that's awesome. Yellow Aventurine Bracelet. The gold light of Yellow Aventurine fills one with compassion and understanding, alleviating grief and centering the emotions, making this a perfect ally for the solar plexus chakra. Aventurine may reduce, absorb, protect against electromagnetic and environmental pollution. Yellow Aventurine can assist in removing toxins and enhancing the flow of energy through the body. Yellow Aventurine balances the yin-yang energies, eases anxiety, and expands the flow of creativity. Wear this bright bracelet to carry the properties of Yellow Aventurine close to you. That's beautiful. I, I Like I said, all of these things together go so well and put together such a complete package to work with each chakra, with the tea and with the oils and everything that you get. It's a complete package that you really can work the whole month on that chakra. And then I take all the items and instead of putting the stones in with my other stones, I actually keep them in a separate box for each chakra so that I can go back and do them again. And as soon as I finish the 10 months, then I want to go back and I want to do a week on each chakra. Um, so this month we got the High Vibe Solar Plexus Chakra Balancing Aroma Oil, the Onyx Worry Stone, the Lemon Topaz Tumbled, the Assorted Gemstone Crystal Pendulum with the Mystery Stone that I'm hoping you guys can tell me what is, the Solar Plexus Chakra Balancing Tea, the Chunk of Tiger's Eye that was also uh, tumbled, the Yellow Aventurine Bracelet, the Citrine Point, the Handmade Wooden Incense Holder, the Sweetgrass Incense Cones, and the Tiger's Eye Pyramid. So 11 items along with the download that we have at the end for um, the meditations and stuff that go with it with all of these items. So you can utilize those. So for the $39 I think this is an amazing chakra box. If you go like onto Amazon and you check out different chakra sets, this by far blows them all out of the water, especially when you really consider the amount of time and effort that she puts into making her own teas and her own essential oils. And with all the stuff that goes into her oils and teas, 
it's an amazing box. So two thumbs up here. What did you think? I hope you enjoyed the time here with me, and I hope that if you're not a subscriber, you'll consider subscribing. If you are a subscriber, thank you again for sharing this time with me. I always enjoy getting your comments and learning from each and every one of you. Remember to come back soon and visit the channel where you can say, Karma's your friend. Bye, y'all. Warm, cuzzy, ho, warm, cuzzy, ho, warm, cuzzy, warm, cozy hugs from me to you.